this is simple biology and habitat destruction many habitats are destroyed by humans to make space for other economic activities or by pollution from these activities consequently the biodiversity of many places is decreasing this interrupts food chains and food webs and means that more species may die because their prey is just gone so what are the causes of habitat destruction the first on the list clearing land for farming and housing natural resource extraction and marine pollution so let's start with clearing land clearing land for growing crops we need to grow crops for our food and this needs to have more space for these crops also the crops are grown for as a food for our livestock we like to have meat and having meat this means you have to raise animals that produce meat and these animals need food and producing food for them requires requires uh, sorry land <clears throat> the great demand for housing is another reason for cleaning clearing land the human population is increasing so uh, we have to uh, meet this demand by making more home and making new houses requires clearing land and destroying habitats as a consequence the second on the list is natural resource extraction destroying forest habitat we need the wood as a resource for building composite material so clearing the forest to have this resource destroy the habitats of the forest clearing land for mining it's true that the minerals are deep in the underground but in order to reach these minerals you have to clear large areas of land on this on the surface of the earth and clearing large surface area means clearing or destroying habitats in this area marine pollution oil spills from petroleum tankers killing sea life the fertilizers that leak from agriculture using fertilizers end up with eutrophication when these fertilizers leak to the water allow algae to grow on the surface of water preventing sunlight from reaching the uh, plants in the seafloor this means less oxygen in the water marine animals will uh, die also throwing waste and garbage in the water uh, destroy marine habitats so let's talk now about deforestation De the, the huge negative impacts of deforestation on the environment extinction so the first negative impact is extinction when you destroy the habitat for these animals now they don't have any other place to live so they have two options either they die out or they migrate to a new place if they cannot migrate and they cannot adapt this means they will die out so this results in extinction the second impact is soil erosion the roots of the trees they anchor the soil and cutting the trees this means nothing is holding the soil anymore and the soil can be easily eroded by wind or water and cutting the trees as we said before the soil is not anchored by the roots of the trees this means it will uh, uh, erode to the valleys in addition the soil now cannot retain water cannot uh, absorb water properly so the water will quickly run off into the valleys this will cause huge flooding to happen and the uh, last here increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis this means that the only way or the main way for carbon to enter into living things and reduce from the atmosphere is by the process of photosynthesis and cutting trees makes fewer trees or keeps only fewer trees that can absorb carbon dioxide so now fewer trees are absorbing this carbon dioxide we end up with more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it cannot be absorbed and this will uh, lead somehow to global warming that's all thank you